I want to go over how the flow of tech stack that I'm using works with React, Express, GraphQL, and SQL. So how is this actually left onto the screen? How is data getting there? How is I am able to log in as a user, right? So I want to talk about that. So I made this little diagram here. I should have actually started here. It makes more sense to start at the top. But what happens when a user comes to your web app? It's going to render which is going to be a React code, right? Then if you want any kind of interaction, like saving stuff to the database, logging the chat, you're going to have to make what's called an HTTP request. It's either a GET or a POST request. There's others. Um, a GET is going to get information from the database. POST is usually you want to change something in the database. So for example, if I want to get some data to display I'm Twitter and I want to show some tweets, I would make a GET request. Then my server here would execute some SQL on the Postgres database to get the data. Postgres will send it back to Express. Uh, formatting the data is not necessary, but uh, you might run several queries and you might need to all you know, together. And then you send this data that it gets back um, to React. React takes that data that it gets and renders it to the client we'll see on their screen. Um, it's just this continuous loop. As the user does stuff and asks for things, React will make an HTTP request. Um, to express. Express will then, you know, do its thing. Um, taking whatever information is from React, it'll build a SQL statement of some kind, a uh, database, and then pass the data back. And then this will get passed to React. Continue a cycle, right? Now, one thing to note with this is GraphQL. GraphQL would sit right here. So here. It would sit right here. And uh, the data will get passed to. So instead of Express making the SQL, um, basically it will handle the uh, HTTP request and it will hand it off to GraphQL. GraphQL will take the query or the mutation is what they're called. Whatever you know React sends, GraphQL handles that and GraphQL and your what's called resolvers will execute SQL. You'll get the return value from that and then you'll pass it back. It'll it, It's sitting in between so it passes back to Express which to React. But we can get rid of this. Uh, GraphQL are the main three. Uh, GraphQL is kind of just like some cute thing that I like um, that I find to pass data, format the data back and forth, so I really like that. How the website works. This is how stuff is getting changed. And depending on the different requests you make to express, different things will happen in PostSQL. Um, and then the database will change, will be reflected. And then when you pull data the next time, it'll be different. And that's it. You just keep doing the work. Um, so that's it for this video, guys. If you have any questions about how this works, uh, I'd be happy to answer them. Uh, feel free to leave a comment below. Video, I'm going to show you if I were to put this on AWS, use what resources, what does something like this actually put this into production? Uh, what would each. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.